guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing another full face of nothing new. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I love incorporating these videos, usually like once a month, because the new makeup is overwhelming. You guys know, like the makeup industry, I feel like it's just exploded so much within the past couple years that there's like new launches every single day. Like there's probably new stuff launching as we speak. So I like doing these videos to show you guys that you don't have to keep up with all the newness because I know it's a lot. So you can still create beautiful looks and recreate things that are trendy and that you see on social media with things that you already have in your collection. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I just wanted to play with like classic favorites and a couple things that I haven't shown a lot of love to recently. So we got some drugstore, some high end. I also have the Tati Beauty palette in today's video, which I have not used this in a little bit. And this is one of my favorite palettes. So I'm really excited. So I hope you guys enjoy, grab a snack and also get cozy, grab your makeup. Let's hang out and do a full face of nothing new. So I just did my eyeshadow and I wasn't loving the way that the look was turning out. So I just wiped everything off and my lids look kind of reddish pinkish because I was using the pink color here in the Tati Beauty palette, this shade right here, which I'm gonna use again today, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna reprime the lids. I just wiped everything off and we're gonna start over. So I'm gonna prime with the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. I love this. I think this is definitely worth the splurge. So I'm just gonna use this to reprime. So going in with the Tati Beauty palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade down here. This one is Soothe. And I'm gonna apply that as my transition shade. I love this palette though. I think especially if you're a makeup artist, you need this in your kit. It's such a good palette, I think for brides or like special occasions. I really, really love it. And the glitters in here are amazing. Then I'm gonna go into the burgundy shade on the bottom. This one is Poet. Every time I use colors like this, I think of the Modern Renaissance palette and I think of like the 2015, 2016 makeup days and feel so nostalgic. Makeup was so fun back then and 2015 and 2016 were just like different compared to like now in the makeup world. There's like a feeling that I get when I think of that time, like on YouTube and the way the makeup world was. All right, so I built this up quite a bit and I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. Next, I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm gonna apply that all over the inner part of the lid. Now I am definitely getting 2016 vibes and I'm here for it, honestly. Does anybody else miss that time in makeup? Because like I miss it so much. I mean, obviously don't get me wrong. I still think the beauty community and like makeup is still fun, but there's just something about 2016 that was just different. Let's do a little pink glitter. So I'm gonna take this one, which clearly I love. I've already hit pan on it. And I'm using that same brush that I used to apply the shimmer. And I'm gonna take that glitter and kind of just pack that on right on the center just for a little, little pop. I don't want it all over the lid. I kind of just want it on the center a little bit. So I still want that shimmer. I don't want the glitter all over, but this is such a pretty glitter. I love these. You don't need any glitter glue or anything. There is going to be some fallout because I'm like heavy handed and all that, but you guys already knew that. But that's why we do the face after the eyes. Your finger is also really good with these glitters to just like kind of pack and press them on. They pick up like the perfect amount of product. So if you don't have like a flat shader brush, your fingers are always a good option as well. Yeah, actually, I think I like that even more with my finger versus with the brush. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm still loving it. And I know that's kind of like a new-ish product, but I literally can't stop using the mascara. So it's really, really good. And today for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Ilore Lux Silk Asher Silk Effect Lashes. Kind of a long name, but this is what they look like. So I'm gonna pop these on with my favorite lash glue, Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It's $3. If you need a good lash glue, this one is it. It's like just the best, honestly. Like everything about it is bomb, but the key 
to your lashes is letting the glue dry for at least a minute, sometimes 30 seconds, depending on how thin or thick the lash band is. These do have a little bit of a thicker lash band, as you can see. So I usually like to let this dry for about 60 seconds. So lashes are on, we're all done with the eyes pretty much. So now for the skin, of course I gotta do a little skin prep. So I was looking through my setting sprays the other day and I came across my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray, which looks like this. You can now find Flower Beauty at CVS and I like this more than the original setting spray that they have. This has a really light mist. So it's super, super light, which I feel like sprays like that are growing on me. I used to like not really be a big fan of light sprays, but I think these are nice if you ever just want something very light. As I was spraying this and even now, like the smell of it and the way that it looks in the bottle, it reminds me so much of the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Always an Optimist spray, which I do love the spray. This is one of my favorites, but you guys know I love a good dupe and the Rare Beauty one and Flower Beauty one look so similar in the bottles, if you can see. And like they literally smell and everything like exactly the same. So I'm gonna use this one from Flower Beauty today to prep and set the makeup. The spritzer is nice because it's nice and light. I do like the spritzer on the Rare Beauty one more, but this one is not bad because when it does spray, it is very even. It's just a little bit lighter than most sprays. It does feel very refreshing. And then to prime the skin, I'm gonna go in with the Milani SPF Primer. I love this. This is basically like, I feel like you could use this as like a daily SPF, honestly, because it is super hydrating. It has SPF in it, but there's no white cast. So it's great for like everyday makeup or just under makeup in general because there's no white cast. It melts into the skin and it has no fragrance to it. I know I use a lot, but I'm telling you guys this product, like even if you use a lot, you can see like it just morphs into the skin beautifully and it's so hydrating. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation or more specifically, the Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation. And I have this one in the shade Cheesecake 250G. My skin has not been doing that great. I actually put a on a little bit of concealer before starting to film because you can see like my pimples are so red and they look so bad. Lately, my skin has just been going through it. So I need some good coverage. And I feel like this is from the last time that I did test this out, I feel like this was good. So we're gonna try this out again today because I need it and I'm gonna use a brush just to buff this in oh wow that is nice the color is really good too that was like really nice. It's kind of like the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in a way. Like it's really good coverage, blends really easily, even though it's a stick foundation, it's not very dry. So that's good, it feels good. All right, for concealer today, I'm gonna to go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I have the shade Light, and then I also have Light Medium. I'm gonna do a little bit of light. I think this is, is this too light? Maybe a little too light? I'm gonna mix both of them actually. That's usually what I do. So I'll start with Light Medium. I'll do a little bit of light. I love this concealer. It has really good coverage coverage, but it's like kind of natural at the same time. Oh, I'm actually loving the complexion and that Huda Beauty foundation looks really, really good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have glitter all over my chest. I'm not mad about it though. It's kind of cute, but it's everywhere. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the one from Anastasia. This one is in the shade Amber. I love the formula of this and like how big this is. Like, I feel like this will last you forever. Love this. It's super easy to blend. I'm really loving this one and the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Contour Stick. That one's really good as well. Those are like my two current favorite high-end like cream bronzers. Then I'm gonna do some liquid blush and I'm gonna use this one from Rare Beauty in the color Grace. I kinda want something more pinky today since I got pink eyes. I want pink cheeks and maybe even like a pink lip today. So I'm gonna use about that much and I'm gonna use that same brush to blend that out. I'm also gonna put some on the other side because you guys know how pigmented and intense these are, but they blend so easily and they last all day. So I feel like this is also a good splurge item because you just need a little bit. So this will last you forever. And then I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush. Just kind of buff that in a little bit. 
Then for powder, I'm gonna use this one from Hard Candy. It is the Chilling Wonder Powder. And this is really cool because it kind of feels like water when you apply it. Like it feels like it's like wet on your skin, but that's just like the formula of the powder. It's very hydrating. And this is a dupe for a powder that Becca has that it's literally just like this. This is the exact same thing, but it's like $6 at Walmart. So I really like this powder and it feels really good and comfortable on the skin. So I'm gonna use this just to set my T-zone. I think if you have dry skin or combo skin, you will love this powder. It's really, really nice. And to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. I love this powder. I know this is like a newer-ish product, but it's genuinely like my go-to everyday powder. I use it every time I do my makeup. It's so good. It like smooths you out and sets everything without drying out the skin. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Little Bronzer Duo in the shade Medium. So, so good. Love the shade range in here, and I love the fact that you get two bronzers for, I feel like, the price of one. This is another, like, go-to product that I love. And you can see, like, I use this so much, but there's, like, no kickback. The formula is super smooth. Like, I could swirl my brush in here for literally hours. And there's like no kickback whatsoever. Like this looks like a brand new bronzer. Like that's how good the formula is. So I'm still loving this. It is such a good bronzer duo. And then for blush, sticking with like the pinky kind of theme, I'm gonna use the primer infused blush from e.l.f. in the shade Always Rosy. It's like the prettiest like mauvey pink. Okay, I forgot how pigmented this is. Whoa, we gotta blend her out. Just touching up my brows a little bit with my Oma Beauty 2-in-1 Brow Styler. This is all that I have on my brows today, but I just feel like they need a little touch up. So I'm going to use the brow gel side now just to set these brows into place. And this brow gel is bomb. Like your brows are not going anywhere if you use this. Okay, now for highlighter. This is probably one of my most used highlighters in my collection. I use this on my wedding day, you guys. So this is like ride or die, hands down, one of the best highlighters ever. And it is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Every time I use this, I get compliments and I just feel like my skin always looks just so healthy and glowy, but it's like not glittery. It's like this kind of inner glow. It's perfect for everyday makeup or just for like more glam looks like today because it just makes your skin look so good. It's so smooth. So I'm gonna use this right on the tops of my cheekbones so if you don't like a lot of highlighter or if you want like a natural just really pretty effortless glow get this and the best part this is like only $5. Okay, now for lips, I'm gonna go in with the LMR Cosmetics Dulce Lip Liner. This is one of my all-time favorite lip liners, clearly. I'm running very low on it, but I have backups because I love this color and formula. Also, friendly reminder, now that I am just realizing that this kind of worked out perfectly. So it's October and obviously it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I have pink eyeshadow on, so I love it. It just so happened to work out that way. Friendly reminder to all of you out there to make sure you're constantly checking your girls. Make sure you're going to like your annual appointments. I actually have my appointment coming up. So just friendly reminder to all of you out there and my heart goes out to any of you guys who are affected by breast cancer or if you have anybody in your family who is affected. I'm sending all my love and a virtual hug to all of you guys out there. So that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do for lips. I'm not gonna add any lipstick I'm just gonna go straight into gloss and I'm gonna use the NYX this is milky lip gloss in cherry skimmed it is the prettiest kind of mauvey pink these are so creamy and they have beautiful colors and they're really wearable like this color is perfect so last but certainly not least before setting spray that's the last step but we're gonna finish up the eyes like always I am gonna take the same color and just drag this right along the lower lash line I am so happy that I did pink eyeshadow today like I know Breast Cancer Awareness Month is this month, but like I didn't even really plan the look on purpose, but it, I just love how it worked out that way, so. And then for the inner corners, I really want that to pop, so I'm gonna go into the shimmer that I put on the lid, and I'm gonna spray my brush. And pop that right in there. 
Then for the waterline, I'm going to go in with a pink liner. This one is the LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner in the shade Baby Pink. I was going to do black, but I think I want to do pink just to keep everything monochromatic. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my makeup and then do lower lash mascara and we'll be all done with this look. So going back with the Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. And we are all done. So that is officially it for this full face of nothing new. I am loving the way everything turned out. This like pink moment. It's like very girly but fun. I'm loving all of these products. Like I, that's why I love doing these videos. I do feel like I always like rediscover things that I haven't used in a while. Like I want to do another look now with the Tati Beauty palette because I forgot how good this is. This setting spray from Flower Beauty is actually pretty good. I do like the spritzer on the Rare Beauty one more but I do feel like these are very very similar and I love a good dupes. And this Huda Beauty foundation is actually really good as well. It gave me the coverage that I I needed for my skin today and it blended in really easily. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I encourage you guys to create a pink look for this October and use the products that you already have in your makeup collection because the old stuff needs some love as well. And it's always fun rediscovering old favorites and using up things that you already have. So use up those products. Don't forget about them. And let's all do some pink makeup for October in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So thank you guys so much for being here. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.